when hunting for baseball cards today at Old Glory Antiques in Frederick, Maryland. Found a nice little baseball card shop section inside the store. One little area here had a lot of supplies, boxes, holders, neat little baseball cases, top loaders, every type of loader. I should have picked up some of these, but I forgot. Card class. Sometimes those work a little bit better than top loaders and definitely team bags. Should pick some of those up. Those weren't too bad. And make my way around the corner and we get to the card section. Pretty nice double booth, triple booth this guy had here. Kind of just stand back and pan it for you guys. It was pretty, pretty large, pretty big selection. Right up front they had a lot of that's a neat little Beckett here. I guess you can like check check the prices and see how his isn't that high. He's basically priced himself the, the high mark in the Beckett. Some vintage. I saw some PSA also. But you kind of see or pause at some of these prices. It's just pretty, pretty high. Double, triple, quadruple uh, eBay in some cases. So I've been looking to buy a vintage mantle. Just even bad shape I'm fine with it and just I'm gonna see a few here in a minute and I end up looking off camera and just just well, here we go you can see 200 300 for these raw shapes they seem to be about a solid double what they're selling for online so I went ahead and didn't pick any of these up but it was still neat to see a big selection of cards These kind of grab bags caught my eye. They're just like a dollar fifty to three dollars. You get about what's in it, like sixty cars. All kind of junk wax stuff, but for casual collector, I don't open this up, but just kind of look at it. Dollar fifty, got a grin on top. It's kind of a common on bottom, so I'm not sure if he loads up like a star on front. And then the middle's filled with like complete junk. But I didn't pick any of those up glass case here not of like these are stars from the 50s and 60s and 70s but I hate having to ask for the key and then they're standing there like waiting while you look through and I mean you know guys it takes like sometimes minutes and minutes in the front desk because I like you just stand there picking through everything the so same thing here these are more like 80s early 80s stars also seem to be priced just about like double what I would pay but this guy had a lot of inventory for sure. No Ryan, the one with ten dollars. So I finally find some cards over here that are not encased. I can look through, and this looks like there's like a good amount of vintage from all different years, and they turn out to be kind of basic common boxes in pretty poor shape, the three five cents each. I kind of ran through a couple of them. Nothing was super interesting. I didn't really see any names that jumped out at me that I had to have. Um, obviously, the 71 is like super hard with the black border. Be really looking forward to next year's heritage with that 71 design. It's going to be real, real sweet. So, I do it again. They got different years. 35 cents each. David Segui is a name I recognize, but didn't need it for anything, so I didn't pick it up. So it's kind of more of the same. Like there's like some 75 tops, cool colors, 35 cents, kind of same condition, just all commons. So I don't, what do you think if you picked up like a hundred of these for 35 bucks, a hundred commons? Is that worth it? Is it overpaying a little bit? I think it's overpaying a little bit, especially in that condition. Maybe they were like mint comp, mint common. So I just continue around here. More of the same. Not really interested in any of these. Then I see a little box of uh, kind of newer stars. These are not in top loaders or anything. They're just in kind of penny sleeves, but 
You know, we got Wade Boggs, 35 cents. That seemed too bad. 85 tops. This is kind of promising to see. Cal Ripken. George Brett. These are all pretty much names everyone would recognize. But for 35 cents, this is probably the more the value spot that I saw. Well, Pete Rose, 35 cents. I ended up picking up a couple of these that I'll show you at the very end. Paul Mero. Just give you an idea of what's here. Woolworth apartment store card. Bunch of these Don Rose Ken Griffey Juniors. All seems to be like mid late eighties into the early nineties stuff. I was here about uh, four months ago, and this box wasn't here. This must be a new, newer section he's added. Nice little Mike Schmidt. I like that McGuire, Captain Crunch. Looks so young. Dream Team cards, those were neat. OPG Clemens, looks like a neat card. Ken Griffey Jr. I had not seen before. He didn't really have a brand on it. Like third year card maybe. Some wax packs, all pretty much 50 cents to 75 cents, somewhere a dollar. Kind of junk Don Russ, looks like it's 50 cents, maybe buy two. I couldn't tell if it was buy two for 25 cents. 1990 Bowman, there's some Stadium Club, all 50 75 cents. I already have about like a well over several thousand of these junk wax packs that I need to do something with, so this weren't too interesting to me. I do end up picking up a couple packs though. 88 Fleer, so if, there's any, any, if there's any 89 Fleer, I would've got that. 93 Donruss, I end up picking up some of these. Hunt for that Elite card. And these I've never seen, like the Zuko Rubdown cards, that's just, just kind of neat to me. End up being like 1985. Scratch it off somewhere. The ultra score. So it's basic junk wax, 50, 75 cents. Then I see a top loader section, kind of like the 35 cent cards, but these were in top loaders and they were all marked like a dollar 50 plus. Maybe they're a little bit nicer, but some of them look, look like they could have been in the 35 cent box. Some newer stuff, Strasburg. Mixed in with the old Donner's George Brett. 90 Fleer, Ken Griffey. Thomas, Clemens. So you some some newer stuff. Mixed in with some older stuff. Some of these cars were 2 and $3. Like right there, Barry Bonds, 
Gwen Donruss, nine dollar fifty. Two dollars for that Maddox. Dollar for that Donruss, Greg Maddox. Dollar for that Puckett. So that took me to finish there to this Eilers Farm Stable. Couldn't get much video inside, but inside is a mantle, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, we're back home from Old Glory Antiques and the Eilers Stables where I picked up the mantle. Going to show you what I got, and some of this stuff's going to be given away. So stay tuned to the end. I'm going to talk about the 150 subscriber giveaway. It's going to be a lot of fun. So the first place, as you watch the video, uh, some of the stuff was a little overpriced, but I mean, if you really dug, dug through, I did find a couple things. I uh, probably could have spent some more time there. So let's kind of kind of go over, you know, what we got. Two packs of 1990 Bowman. Uh, I'm looking for the the Frank Thomas Frank Thomas rookie card. I'm just going to break open one of these packs, see if there's anything we get. Nice gum. Okay. Not a bad looking card. Too bad these Bowmans really were just not... Uh, not that look at mister look at that look at that hair. Nice little little Will Clark there, it's nice. Let's take a little Bo Jackson. Looks like an insert card, but it's a uh I guess a contest card. And we didn't hit it. Okay. No problem, put that in my pile of Bowman that I'll probably never look at again. Um, for you guys, this is going in the 150 subscriber giveaway box. I'm going to talk about that at the end. Then we got two packs of 93 Donruss. This was also 50 cents each. Looking for the Elite Series cards. Those things were like, oh man, if you can get one of them back in like what, 93, they were like incredibly hard to pull. But so, so pretty. If you check them out on eBay, they still get like hundreds of dollars. Little Willie Green with a rookie. Tell you what, I love the look. I mean, considering Donruss like an 88, 89, 90, 91. And then 93, they were definitely trying to keep up. I mean, this is like, these are good looking cars. Nothing wrong with these at all. Vinny Castilla. Okay, so no elite was hit, no problem. This pack for you guys, going in the 150 sub giveaway. I'll show you the box at the very end. We're getting close to the mail, guys. I had never seen these before. Photo rub downs, and they look like kind of old 1985. So you're supposed to. Two rub down sheets, one stick of gum. Of course, the gum doesn't really say what to do. You're supposed to rub it on like a on something. I'm just gonna open one up and I'm gonna give you guys one. I'm not sure if they're worth anything. I mean, this guy definitely knew his prices. So, I mean, those mantles were hundreds of dollars over what I think they were worth. Ron Kittle. Okay, so I look at that. I kind of counter up again. Ha ha! Nice. The one pack I open. That's cool. So I guess this maybe just transfers on something. If anyone knows anything about these, please let me know in the comments. But that's cool. I got Ripken. That's neat. So one for you guys. All right. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Oops. Too excited for the mantle, guys. All right, here we go. Um, so those one stack of the top loader cards I pulled. I get the camera to refocus now. So this Reggie Jackson, 83 tops for a buck. It looked like, you know, pretty sharp. Didn't see much wrong with it. Centered. So I figured this is worth a dollar. I've been kind of collecting the 83 set whenever I can find them in, like, good condition anyway. And this fit that. So I paid a buck for that. And... I'm going to move the mantle off screen for one second to show you the last two cards in the beginning. 30 cents, Ken Griffey. I didn't, there's no brand on this. Just seemed kind of neat. Kind of an oddball Griffey card. So maybe I'll try to look up some info on it. 
Captain Crunch McGuire, 35 cents. Tops, though, 1989. That was, that was a nice little card. And finally, here we go. The highlight of the video. 1960 Mickey Mantle. Not in the best of shape. I didn't realize until after I purchased it, the extra crease down there, at the kind of in the middle. But still awesome, guys. My first, like, mantle purchase of an actual vintage raw mantle. Back look real nice. This was at that farm that kind of turned one of their horse barns into a little antique shop. I couldn't get any video inside there, but uh, $95 was the price tag on it and offered 50 came back at 80 settled at 75 So when I check it out online, looks like I didn't do you know too bad in this condition in a raw shape. I probably get my money back if I wanted to. But I'm um, definitely keeping this. It's trying to build my personal collection up. And for an affordable mantle, I mean, this thing is like five, six, seven hundred, any kind of PSA grade. So, anyway, I was real happy about this. Super nice card. All right, guys, great. So let me talk about the 150 sub giveaway. So what I have here is a nice little small priority box. And what we're going to do is for the next... However many videos it takes to get 150, whether that's a week or two weeks or just a couple days, make sure you watch every video. Leave a comment. The comment's going to be an entry into the video, just like last time. And I'm going to be filling this box every video I do. I'm going to put more stuff in it. So it's going to be fun to watch each video to see, you know, what you can get. In fact, right now, I think there's something I pulled to go in here. Let's throw in, I think this is 1950, yeah, 19, no, yeah, 19, 2014 Heritage, Yellowish Rookie, 2018 Tops and Mike Trout Insert, International Ferris, cool looking card. We're throwing those for now. This will, of course, get packed better when it's done. So go ahead and make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell so you see the new videos. I will be doing other giveaways this week besides this one. So each video might have a small giveaway in it. So definitely worth hitting that bell to watch. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you guys real soon.